Western country child birth rates. In the Western countries, women are becoming more and more reluctant to give birth to babies. However, the male status in society remains as strong as it ever has in recent years. The birth rates increased during the early 20th century, but it started to decrease over these last two decades. In the year 2000, as example, the birth rate remained at around 1%. There are even some negative birth rates in other countries. Birth rates dropped to their lowest point that has ever been seen in society. It also has impacts on males in society, especially young males. And it might even have some connection with unemployment rates as well. Wilson came then from a different world, and he became the focal point of a broad mainstream American culture that thought that modern literature and wanted modern literature to be able to be read and appreciated by ordinary people. They were not modernists in an abstract sense, and certainly some of them, like T.S. Eliot and Faulkner, were too difficult for some of their writings to be read by ordinary people, but this was a world before the division between the brows or between elite or whatever had established itself as part of our consciousness. Wilson was a major player in the successful effort of his generation to establish at the heart of American life an innovative literature that would equal the great cultures of Europe. And he knew that the great cultures of Europe were there. He was not a product of a narrow American studies kind of training at all. He joined a high artistic standard with an openness to all experience and a belief that literature was as much a part <clears throat> of life for everyone as conversation. He thought that Proust and Joyce and Yeats and Eliot could and should be read by ordinary Americans and helped that to happen. Wilson was a very various man. Over a period of almost 50 years, he was a dedicated a literary journalist, an investigative reporter, a brilliant memoirist, and dedicated journal keeper. In our survey, over 100 CEOs who had recently been through an acquisition or merger were asked which areas of their activities needed the most effort. Uh, as you can see, the most frequent response to this question was that information technology requires the most integration effort. According to 58% of those we surveyed, IT was the most time-consuming and needed the most work. This is understandable as many of the IT issues are extremely complex and the consequences of any change in IT can have a significant impact. The key is how quickly and effectively IT integration can be achieved. And there has to be a clear understanding of the consequences there may be of not getting it right. The two other areas requiring significant attention, sales, marketing and business development on the one hand, and financial management on the other, both were selected by 49% of the respondents. This is Hans Krebs, who in 1937 published a paper showing the sequence of chemical reactions by which energy is released in individual cells. Um, it's called the Krebs cycle, which some of you may remember from your chemistry course in high school. Krebs is a wonderful example to me of how a scientist who is determined can overcome all kinds of human obstacles. Krebs' father constantly discouraged him and told him that he had just mediocre intelligence and would never do anything important in his life as a teenager. Uh, what Krebs remembers in his memoir, his father said to him, you can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. And later on, when Krebs studied with the great biochemist Otto Warburg, Warburg also told him the same thing, um, not the same quote, but that he had only mediocre ability and would never be a great scientist. And we all hear about how important it is for parents to encourage their children, but sometimes the children will go on to do great things no matter what we say to them.